This video introduces RoboPuppet, a new technique created in the Intelligent Motion Laboratory at Indiana University for building inexpensive, tabletop sized models of robots to provide teleoperate input to full size robots. The prototype demonstrated in this video is a 30% scale controller for the Stowbly TX90L robotic arm. Robots are teleoperated by humans in many applications, including nuclear plants, robotic surgery, explosive ordnance disposal, and search and rescue. But a common challenge for users is to learn a mental map of the correspondence between the input device and the target robot. The RoboPuppet controller, or Puppet, is a 3D printed miniature of the target robot, which uses encoders embedded in the joints to translate the user's physical actions with the puppet directly into motion on the robot. The kinesthetic mode of operation is familiar to those who played with action figures and dolls as children, and we hypothesize that it lets users control complex motions in a more intuitive way than using joysticks and joint level control. The method consists of five major elements. The first is a standardized inexpensive joint encoder assembly. This contains encoders, can be adjusted according to the joint orientation of the links of the robot, and enables the puppet to support its own weight against gravity using adjustable friction controls. Second are the pocket geometries. These are 3D models which are subtracted from the robot's mesh in order to provide structures in the printed part that are used to hold the joint encoder assemblies in the joint surfaces and provide assembly access. The third element is a straightforward build process for building a custom RoboPuppet for a new target robot. Fourth is a calibration tool. This allows the user to easily create a mapping from the input encoder values to appropriate joint angles on the robot. The fifth and final element is an input sanitizer that ensures the requested motions are safe and possible for the robot. Here you can see the position requested by the user in orange and the robot's position in gray. The encoder values sent to the robot are filtered to remove jitteriness, enforce velocity and acceleration limits, and prevent the robot from attempting to move its beyond its joint limits. We claim that with joint encoder assemblies and pocket geometries in hand, any robot with sufficient joint surface area in which to embed the encoders is a viable target for the RoboPuppet procedure.